check this guy out. <laughs> this looks like he's just Oh I love you, I love you, I love you. Um it's a good question. So this is working well, it's cool. It's all cool. It's a little bit floaty and swimmy there there. Alright. Kind of wing wing and then slow rotation. The ending's good, but just that stuff like this is a very isolated rotation. It's kind of spliny and computery. So, you know, a bit more within this region, like those type of movements you have are good on the hand. That's cool. What's missing here is that your camera stops at the end. See this? Like keep going with your move or potentially reframe, but keep that energy going where there's a little handheld. So then everything just kind of stops. And then cutting to this, he's also completely still. And then I will cut on those frames here. So when he moves here, that's where you cut in. Otherwise, you just cut to nothing moving, and that's kind of boring. So let's see this here. He does this, and he goes, holy shit, oh, holy shit. See, there you go. So much better. That's cool. It's all cool. I think what's a bit funky is that if you're doing this here, oh, framing wise, I would start just a bit more like that, as if it's almost like center frame and then center frame, which might be a bit weird, but this just feels weirdly too much to the left, you know? Still, just a little bit. Now, in terms of the ending, I see what you mean. We have kind of this turn. Like, I don't mind. Like you could actually be closer. How about you're this, right? That way the cut is a bit more pronounced and it makes more sense. And then by the time you're here, you're actually this close in terms of the framing, right? So the overall pull away you have is okay, but you would start in closer. What I would do is with this, like when you're in a frame like this, it's really framed. What you can do is imagine his arm is up like that. And this guy's arm, you know, it's maybe up here. Like he's trying to pull his arm away, and so you have bigger arm poses on on the big guy. You know, if that makes sense. And then it will come and re-grab this arm. But then, even then, like the framing will be a bit more like that. You know, not so empty here. And I think the headbutt doesn't quite re. I'm not quite sure what he's doing. I don't know if that's a headbutt. You could also do with this arm, you know, swing out from here to here, punch him in the side. Or you could do is take the other hands and you're more like in a pose like this. And his guy's left hand is here and grabs his hair. And then pulls him down so that at the end you have more of a pose where, um, let's pretend this guy's about just to hold him here a little bit. And then the head is like that, and goes Arr, back. And then this guy's hand is on him. Which is probably too far away. I'm sure that kind of works silhouette wise. But you know, the idea is that the hand is here and then pulls him back. And then with the framing, it would be, you know, it's more something where you end up with him here and then the other guy being back here. And you can pull him back and then, and then leave that hand down or something. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like. You want to have a, a, an interesting frame where this guy goes out and is yelling or he bites and this guy's not doing anything and he just bites and on his way out, imagine that this guy's leaning back uh, and just howling, mouth open and on his way back there's, you know, like blood streaks, like he almost bit a chunk out, right? Chunk is here and his, his hair, whatever. And he just leans back and does his howl, if that makes sense. Like that could be something. So right now it feels a bit eh. I mean I know it's just bare bones, but I think as an ending, it's not as strong and I think it would be it's okay to have him win. You know, I don't know. And then looking at this guy. What are you saying, Jerry? 
people who weren't alive anymore because of me. Oh my God. Yeah, I know. I feel terrible about it. And I, I really need your help right now. Yeah, I think the idea is there. I mean, it would be like only going this far. I think, for, funny enough, compared to the previous version, this feels almost rougher in terms of animation. Like, there's a lot of intersection stuff, and especially at the end here, um, you know, there's a lot of uh, repeats here with arm movements and his eyes. And I know it feels like this is a, a step back compared to before. Maybe I'm missing what missing a version. Jerry? Three, three people who weren't alive anymore because of me. Oh my god. Yeah, I know. I feel terrible about it. And I, I really need your help right now. But I like the idea, and I like that, you know, you're doing this with the hand here, and it's got to work out the poses so it doesn't go through the table. But to me, like, because it seems rougher than before, it's almost like you're going into, like, really rough blocking layout, um... But I would say it's approved. Now I'd say now you know go in chunks and work on this section, then on this section, then on this section. Like go one by one and start really sh polishing it because these are you know obvious intersections and there's some crazy stuff going on here. So I'm not quite sure what this submission is representing compared to last time. Um, but I would say as a whole, I think this is this is totally working, and I like the ideas and the change of the posing. You know, it needs to be more like that at the end with the elbow on the side, maybe next to the table. So it doesn't feel like this is so broken like that. Like the wrist and the arm would actually come out this way and and be then here, you know, type of thing. Um, but yeah, I mean, I, again, I'm not quite sure. It's very, it feels to me at least rougher than before. Lots of intersections and lots of twinning and especially this ending being crazier. Um, but I would say overall, I think I like all the beats and the, ty and the performances. I would just go in there and now really polish the stuff and, you know, work on your IK arms and chest and head accents that are synced to the audio and all that stuff and you know get away from crazy IK head stuff here you know kink out take out all the kinks in the technical realm right okay thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you